Just in time for all of the snowbirds and the holidays, there's a new attraction that will have you into space. Yeah, Embry-Riddle University is opening the first and only planetarium in northern Arizona tomorrow. ABC 15's Katie Connor joins us live with more. And Katie, uh, this sounds pretty fun for everyone. Yeah, for adults and the little ones, people are going to pack into the planetarium here. This will actually take you into space to more to learn more about how this actually happens. We're here with Eric. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Absolutely. So explain to us, how does this show work and how does this all come together? So we like to start someplace that's a little bit familiar. So we're in this gigantic yeah. dome where above you, there's the universe. So we like to start at Earth, someplace that I think a lot of people have been before. Right, so exactly. We, we start there and then we head to different places across the universe. Okay. Like, for example, I'm going to take you guys to what rumor has it is Neil deGrasse Tyson's favorite planet. It's gorgeous to th see through a telescope, but it's also pretty cool to see in this planetarium right here. It's a planet that's less dense than water. So if you put it in a bathtub, it'll float, but be careful with doing that because it'll probably leave a ring. Okay. Because this one that we're going to head toward is Saturn. Oh, okay. The gorgeous ringed planet. It's absolutely beautiful. Wow. And if we see it a little bit more up closely, mm -hmm. we can see that those rings, they're not whole. There are different pieces. There are small pieces, oh, microns wow. to meters in length that surround this planet wow. that are going round and round. It's a beautiful view, something that we can't see when we look really close with a telescope. So yeah. this is exciting. No, this is absolutely incredible. And it's tough to see right now, I know, but when we first walked in, my photographer, into the planetarium, you just, you kind of take a step back because the entire dome is lit up like the night sky. It is definitely something you will want to check out. Coming up at 530, we're actually going to talk with someone about when the shows will start and how the entire community can actually come see these shows. Back to you guys.